swear to God, if I have to film all this again, I don't know if I'll make it. Hey y'all, it's Coach Mara. What's up? Today is the first day of my YouTube career. It's very exciting. I'm so excited to start this channel and help educate you guys on what I know about volleyball. So to start off, I wanted to make a video about 10 things you should know about me. And I think that's all I need to say about that. So let's get going. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Number one on my list here, I am not, emphasize not, bold, underline, italicize, what is that? A professional coach, but no means. I am a player first, a coach second. There are plenty of coaches, professional coaches on this platform already who have amazing content. If you're looking for that expertise, go check them out. If you're here for that, you're on the wrong channel, sorry. That's not this channel and that's not me. I'm here to give you my real opinion. I am a newbie coach. I've coached for maybe two years and I've played not professionally for seven years. I am by no means a professional. Number two, I am deathly afraid of spiders. I wish I could say this was like a logical fear, like I was traumatized by a tarantula when I was five or something, but no, it's the most irrational fear I have because I know I'm bigger than it. I know I can physically take it and put it outside. And yet what do I do? I call someone else in my house to come downstairs and deal with it. Number three, I love movies. Movies, pop culture, all of that, I love it. I live for it. Ugh, it is so good, except, except for um, horror movies. Um, not for me. A lot of people love it because they love the feeling of being scared. I, however, do not. In case anybody was wondering, nobody probably was but i'll just say it anyways my favorite movie is casablanca or casablanca however the heck you say it it's fantastic i mean anything you can need in a movie i give you casablanca oh. Oh. Okay, number four i was a band kid for all of middle school and high school and i played tenor saxophone so not the small saxophone it's like the medium one before you get to the really big one. And I played that for all six years of school. And it was the best experience I ever had because it really gave me an understanding and appreciation of music, which I didn't know I needed until I got it. And I had the best time. Stressful, but the best time ever. Number five, I'm a business major full-time at university and whenever I meet people and I they ask me hey Mara what's your major and I'm like I'm a business major and they say no you're not and I'm like excuse me and they're like you don't you don't look like it you don't have the vibe of a business major and I'm like what 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 does that mean like I guess I don't look like it great I'm defeating societal norms thank you so much Number six, people used to ask me when I wasn't online on Zoom University, when I was around people all day, they would ask me, Mara, you have so much on your plate. How do you relax? Like, what do you do to relax? And I'd be like, oh, I don't know. I go to the beach. And I'd be like, what? And yeah, I live on the west coast of Canada. I'm really close to the beach. So anytime I can get out there, I try and get some time down there. And it's just something about the waves, something about the sounds, the smells that just calms me down like nothing else can. And in my times of like intense stress during finals or midterms, I'll go down there like once a day just to remind myself that my problems aren't as big as they seem to be. It kind of puts everything in perspective, if you know what I mean. Number seven, I currently work as a Starbucks barista i know 
I'm the college stereotype. Hi, nice to meet you. I've worked there for the past two years. Comment down below if you want me to do a video on this, explaining it. I know, I know a few things. Um, I don't know if it's helpful, but I can do latte art when I'm at work. When I'm at home, it's really hard in like the home environment versus the industrial environment. I can't do like the kittens or I saw one the other day on Instagram. It was like a guy made latte art with the scene, the house from up. I can't do that. No, no, no. I can do a solid leaf though. Number eight. This is, again, has nothing to do with anything, but just kind of like a fun piece of information. I'm currently knitting a blanket. Why? I don't really know. Um, a friend of mine out in Ireland, she was making one and we were talking one day and I was like, why are you making a blanket? And she's like, I don't know, I just kind of felt like it. And I'm like, that looks really interesting. And I like knitting, because as you can tell, I like to use my hands. <laughs> so whenever I'm watching a show or a movie, I'll knit and it keeps my hands busy, which is really nice. Not gonna lie. And I've been working on this blanket for maybe a week and it's so long. I'm so excited. Could not be more thrilled. Number nine. I did a lot of sports before I ended up choosing volleyball. Like when I was a kid, I did basketball, soccer, uh, competitive swimming, flag football, where I was the quarterback of my team, just saying. I also did dance. Like there were so many other things I did before I ended up deciding to go choose volleyball. And I think it was grade six, so I was in middle school. And I decided, you know what? Let's just, let's just try it. Let's try volleyball. And I go to tryouts. And I don't remember much from that tryouts or like the entire season. But I do remember everything just sort of clicked for me. It was like, ooh, I really like this. I might even love this. And for some grace of God, I stuck with it. And I love it continually. I wouldn't imagine myself doing any other sport now. Last but not least, uh, a lovely finale to this little list here. Hey y'all, it's Editing Mara. I just wanted to pop in here and say a PSA for all of you who are freaked out by bones popping out. Just as a heads up, probably shouldn't watch the next part. I have double jointed thumbs, so I can do this. I'm really sorry if you see this and it freaks you out, but I can do it on both hands. So when I used to play saxophone, this trick came very handy because there's this little hoop or hook you have to hook your thumb onto to play. So everyone would always complain about their thumbs hurting because it, the plastic or the metal was digging into the side of their thumb. And I was like, oh, I don't get that. And they're like, what? What do you mean? And I'm, they're like, what do you do? And I'm like, oh, I just do this and play. And they're like, Mara, that's not normal. And I'm like, yeah, I know. It's a gift, what can I say? It also came in handy for volleyball. When I was passing, something that they tell you in middle school often is to fold your hands like this. So one hand on top of the other and then your thumbs come together. You see, my thumbs automatically want to push in. And it creates seat normally with people who are normal. There's this gap in between hands. With me, my thumbs automatically want to do this. So there's less of a gap. I don't know if it makes an actual difference to my playing, but came in handy. It was a fun little trick. And yeah, most of these are pretty random, but some of these are really influential in how I got started in volleyball. Uh, definitely would not trade it for anything else. And so with that, that's the end of today's video. I am so excited to meet and greet and grow our volleyball community here online. I'm so excited for what is in store. I have some good things in the works that I hope you guys will enjoy. So until then, I'll see y'all later. Good job team.